Here's a very interesting um, situation. There have been, throughout our history, old presidents. Reagan was old, you know, this and that. So I searched around for a guy that I think really knows the presidency and how age affects it. Uh, joining us now from Roanoke, Virginia, is a professor, Edward Lynch. He teaches political science, and he's the chairman of that department at Hollins University. All right, so um, you and I, uh, we have something in common. We study presidents from Washington to Biden, their tendencies, their successes, their failures. In the older president category, I believe, and I've been upfront about this, that Biden's age is hurting him. It's hurting his ability to govern. So let's first take a look at some of the older presidents and see if they were in the same situation. I mean, we could go way back to William Henry Harrison, right? He only lasted 90 days as president. Actually, it was only 30 days as president. And he, he kicked, he went to heaven or wherever. Um, but he was a rough and ready kind of guy, a tough guy. Um, people elected him based on his war record fighting the Indians. And um, it's hard to evaluate him. But Americans at that time didn't seem to be too concerned that he was a senior citizen. No. Well, uh, bear in mind that uh, he was almost completely removed from the campaign trail back in 1840, uh, highly reminiscent of uh, Joe Biden's campaign in 2020 when he campaigned from the basement. Uh, one of the comments made about William Henry Harrison when he was nominated by the Whigs for president uh, is that the use of pen and paper should be forbidden to him for the duration of the campaign. That was one of his own campaign managers who said that. <laughs> They, uh, right. they didn't want him talking. Well, he's a pretty blunt guy. I mean, it might have been more about him saying offensive stuff than didn't know what he was doing, but I don't know. Right. So you fast forward into uh, Ronald Reagan, mm -hmm. um, senior citizen. Uh, I wrote a book on him killing Reagan, and in the book, after he was nearly killed by an assassin's bullet, his mental acuity declined. And it was interesting because the Reagan Library objected to my reportage on that, but it was absolutely true what I said in the book. Reagan made amazing comeback. And some people feel that Biden really isn't in that much of a decline and could come back himself. So let's deal with Reagan first. He was an effective president at an old age. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, I mean, there are a couple of things. Uh, number one, um, uh, Reagan Reagan's administration maintained, at least in foreign policy, a remarkably steady hand through a couple of different secretaries of state, four different national security advisors. And you don't get that kind of steadiness. You don't get that kind of consistency if there isn't a strong hand at the top and a strong mind at the top. The other thing about Reagan that separates him from Biden is that Reagan didn't look old. He looked younger than he was. He looked vigorous. Uh, he was able to to walk more steadily. Uh, uh, Biden looks so old. He walks like an old man. He talks like an old man in a way that Reagan did not. Uh, and that's one of the biggest differences between the two and a very important one, particularly even more for Biden than for Reagan, because Reagan didn't have to deal with social media. The chairman of the Fed is promising more pain ahead. Last year, stocks dropped a whopping 20%. 2023 could be worse. You are right to be worried. So call the only precious metal dealer I trust, American Hartford Gold. They will show you how to protect your savings and retirement accounts by diversifying your portfolio with physical gold and silver. Since I've been a client and spokesperson, the price of gold has appreciated more than 35%. So please call today and they'll have physical gold and silver delivered right to your door or put inside your IRA or 401k. They have thousands of satisfied customers and have the highest rating in the country with an A-plus rating from the Better Business Bureau. Please tell them Bill O'Reilly sent you, and they will give you up to $5,000 of free silver on your first order. Please call 866-501-5201. That's 
866-655-5201 or text BILL to 65532. Again, that's 866-501-5201 or text BILL to 65532. Thank you for watching the No Spin News. To watch the full episode anytime on BillOReilly.com, please sign up to become a premium or concierge member. Visit BillOReilly.com to sign up and start watching today.